We've arrived at Harbor Lakes RV Resort near Port Charlotte, Florida. Let's go check it out. Harbor Lakes RV Resort is part of the Trails Collection under the Thousand Trails umbrella. That's an add-on to a Thousand Trails membership. Melody and I absolutely love our Thousand Trails membership. We stayed at this RV park for an entire week with zero dollars out of pocket. As you enter Harbor Lakes RV Resort, off to your right is the office. That's where you're going to go in and pick up your check-in packet. This is our site at Harbor Lakes RV Resort. Really pleased with it. This place is uh, quite some RV resort. We'll show you around. They do have a pool at Harbor Lakes RV Resort. And they also have a hot tub. And there are places where you can get some shade here at the pool. There's a laundry room right next to the pool. Melody's in there doing laundry and she'll give you a little tour. Okay, um, we are at Harbor Lakes RV Resort in Port Charlotte, Florida. Um, you come down to do the laundry. It's about seven o'clock. They open at seven and um, going to get our laundry done today. They have 10 washers and 10 dryers. I'm over on this side. And to wash, it's $1.75. And at this place, they only take credit card. Same way with the dryers. They have a nice folding table, and it looks like they have some ironing boards if you need to press something off. Just a quick note that depending on what buttons you select on here, it could be anywhere from $1.75 to $2 to $2.25. So light $1.75, medium to heavy 225. This is an expansive RV resort. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead of giving you my traditional walking tour, I'll show you a few clips of me walking around the campground. But to do the uh, RV park justice, uh, I'm going to give you dash cam footage. I'm going to drive you around the park. My Cougar fifth wheel is parked down there. I believe I'm in site 167. Uh, what I want to show you is I'm standing at the corner of Michigan Avenue and Chicago Avenue. And right at this intersection there's a uh, culvert that leads you to the canal and there's a doggy park over here and this is where I take Milo in the morning. Yeah, almost every day we've seen an alligator in here. Oh Mr. Alligator are you out here today? He's usually sitting right in there. This, uh, this walking trail goes for quite a ways. Uh, and it goes around a pond and a lake. And uh, where is that alligator? This is the first morning that uh, I've been here. And when that alligator has not been here, I'll show you some clips. I've got film and photo photo that he was a big alligator okay well this is the doggy park and they have a place for you to put your pet waste right there and uh, all right so let me show you some dash cam footage taking a walk here at Harbor Lakes RV Resort in Port Charlotte Florida 
stumbled across this huge alligator in the canal. It's pretty big. Melody and I were out running some errands. We're on our way back to Harbor Lakes RV Resort. This is the turn off. If you're coming from the interstate, you're going to be approaching from the other direction. So you won't have to uh, cross traffic to enter the resort. We're entering the resort now. It's a pretty expansive resort. So I, I thought I'd show you some dash cam footage and get a feel of the layout of the resort. Okay, so and I show you some other clips of this separately, but the office is right off to your right there. Just park your rig and then go and get your check-in packet and proceed to your site. I'm going to take you, this is a little finger that goes uh, uh, up to a canal. And there's park models along here off to the right and then uh, there's also transient RV sites off to my left you'll see those as we uh, make the turn here okay so off to your right you're gonna see some of the uh, RV transient RV camping and they have seasonal sites mixed in here as well both off to the right and left, you'll see RVs. My Cougar's off to the left. I'm gonna nose in so you can see where our site is. And I'll give you another shot of our site a little bit later, but that Cougar right there, that's, uh, that's our home for right now. take you around the perimeter. There's a canal off to the right behind these uh, modular homes. Some of these people have their places fixed up really nice. And as we make the turn and head back toward where the office is, uh, there's some really nice transient RV sites as well as seasonal RV sites. You're going to see a cell phone tower off to your right. And uh, as usual in my reviews, I'll give you the upload and download speeds for all the cell carriers we have. But uh, the cell service is it's pretty decent here. Here are some of the RV sites. Got some really nice RV sites in here. We did two different day trips uh, to the beach. Uh, both were in Sarasota County. We had a wonderful time. I'll show you some short clips and uh, some photos I'll throw up of uh, both those day trips. So one was to Nokomis Beach, which is uh, about, about an hour away, and uh, a little bit closer, 30 minutes away, is Blind Pass Beach, wonderful beach. It's a straight shot uh, down the, uh, the highway that uh, passes in front of the RV resort, takes it right to the beach. Blind Pass Beach. Show you some clips. We just arrived at Nakoma Beach, Florida. Took a little day trip from Port Charlotte. Look at this beach. 
That is something else. Turquoise water. Let's go check it out. Wow, water is beautiful today. Look at this. Somebody's parasailing out there. Yeah, took a little day trip from Harbor Lakes RV Resort to Nokomis Beach, Sarasota County. And this water is just amazing. Melody's amazed with all the shells. I mean, I, I don't remember this being a shelling beach, but this, this, uh, this beach is just full of shells. Conks, all kinds of different shells. Well, somebody brought, brought their boat clear into the, the beach. I didn't know you could bring a boat like that clear up to the, on the beach. They tied her off. So if you want to do a day trip up to Nokomis Beach, it's all free parking along here. Sarasota County. Uh, looks like they provide the free parking. We parked here for about an hour while we walked the beach. Check it out. Just 30 minutes from Harbor Lakes RV Resort is Blind Pass Beach Park. It's a Sarasota County park, offers free parking and spectacular beaches. Let's go check it out. And they have restrooms right at the beach access. Wow, get a load of this. Florida at its finest. Look at that Emerald Beach. This is a pretty cool looking beach. Toward the northern end of the beach, it gets pretty secluded. Gorgeous beach. Ran across a coconut that washed up on the beach. We're staying at Harbor Lakes RV Resort. This is a worthy day trip, most certainly. Can't think of a better place than the Leave It, but here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.